Hello and welcome to Med4 Care. I am Dr. Care and today I am going to talk to you about diagnostic tests. In medicine, the diagnosis of a pathology is a three-stage process. The last of these is represented by diagnostic or instrumental exams. This is a further phase of investigations which involves the use of tests and examinations carried out with the aid of machinery or laboratory tools. These tests are able to discriminate between diseases that have similar symptoms and allow the doctor to orientate himself among the various diagnostic subcategories. For convenience, clinical trials are divided into categories. The first is represented by diagnostic imaging tests that provide an image of the affected area of the body through the use of machinery that uses waves, electromagnetic or sound, or electrically charged particles. This diagnostic type inevitably depends on the physical medium used to obtain the image. Therefore, four macro categories are identified. Radiology, which uses X-rays, echography which uses ultrasound, magnetic resonance, which uses the resonance of atomic cores and angiography, which involves the use of a water-soluble contrast medium injected into a vein. A second category is represented by laboratory tests. They use sophisticated equipment and instruments that involve the carrying out of particular chemical reactions or biological activities. In particular, two subcategories are distinguished, microbiological diagnostics, in which the sample is studied in search of pathogenic microorganisms, and biochemical diagnostics, which analyzes specific biochemical components through the analysis of blood, urine and other body fluids. The third category is that of functional diagnostic tests that verify the correct functioning and effectiveness of an organ or apparatus. Finally, a further diagnostic branch is represented by pathological anatomy, which deals with analyzing tissue samples taken from patients in order to identify the typical lesions of the various pathologies. In general, among the most common examples of diagnostic tests we can mention blood test, which consists of a modest amount taken from which to check the concentration of red blood cells, white blood cells, platelets, etc. The electrocardiogram, which through the application of electrodes is able to record the electrical signals emitted by the heart. The prick test, which consists of applying a drop of the suspected allergy substance to the skin to see if there is an allergic response. Urine culture, which searches for microorganisms present in the urine and nuclear magnetic resonance, capable of reproducing the anatomy of the body in 3D thanks to powerful magnetic fields. However, the field of diagnostic tests is always constantly expanding. In fact, thanks to scientific technological progress, diagnostic tests are constantly increasing in terms of quantity, availability, and accuracy. Unfortunately, this trend, together with the demand for ever more accurate diagnoses, ends up having a heavy economic impact on the health system due to the high costs of these tests. Although it is important to avoid redundancy and waste, the centrality of diagnostic tests remains indisputable. In fact, they represent the final point of arrival of the entire diagnostic process and are the objective confirmation of the diagnostic hypothesis advanced by the doctor after the medical history and physical examination. We are now at the end of today's video, we hope you enjoyed it. If you found it useful, please support us with a nice, like, and subscribe to the channel. See you soon on Med4Care.